Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Neff from Nez Tech Bits, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dwelling, the Pirate Bay Bubbles. Don't worry, ma'am. I am from the internet, and I love me some cheap technology, which always gets me stuff sent from China that's unbelievably cheap and that I love very much. Check this out. This is from the Meme Park. This is some kids. That looks like an angry Pokemon. What's going on there? He's got some ideas going on. I have no idea what this guy's supposed to be alluding to. He's just like a character. He almost looks like he's knocked off Angry Birds or something. Got some psychedelic mushroom trees over here kicking around. Meme Park Smartwatch. All of the good stuff. And there's the poor kid who's about to get his mind blown by the psychedelic mushroom tree. Anyway, so here we have the unit itself. And it took me up until just now to figure out that it had one particular problem. It actually has multiple problems. I have to turn this thing off and back on all the time. I think I did just get a bad unit, a bad pull on this. And that happens. Even the best manufacturers uh, get their bad runs. But I do think that uh, something like 24% of uh, all of these super cheap watches are just bad. I found that if you just hit the back of it... If you just put too much pressure on the pack, it makes the whole thing reboot. But I'm sure they're not all going to be that bad. Anyways, once we get it going again, go through the setup, all that fun stuff. You can change the faces to all kinds of stuff. All freaking kinds of stuff. And that is super nice. I still haven't gotten through all the screens. They must have like a hundred of them, seriously. And that ought to keep the kids happy. Anyways, you hit the button, you move on to the next thing. Of course, we have a camera. Yeah, we can take some awesome pictures. Not the best pictures, so the camera itself is right up here, right? And so we're going to come in, take a picture of, hey, let's get a picture of this guy. Oh, man, you have to pull that thing way far back. And, uh, yep, here we got the picture. In order to see the picture, clicky click. Oh, we can put beautiful backgrounds on it. That's nice, that's nice. Anyways... So, you want to see the picture going down to the picture. And then you can uh, put new pictures over top of your pictures. Pretty cool, huh, guys? Yeah. Oh, no, let's give him a nose. We need to give Scully here a nose. Um, yeah, let's give him a big nose. That's right. That's perfect. Yep, giving him a nose. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, grooving with that music. So, we got different games here, too. You got to catch some apples. You got to shoot some stuff. Save the bear. Avoid the balls. And uh, avoid the bombs, brute ninja, whack a mole, and other crazy things. So, very simple, but man, back in the day, I would have loved to have something like this when I was young, going on car rides and stuff like that. Thing just shoots, pew, pew, pew. and hopefully, you don't hit anything. I took one with me, kamikaze style, ladies. That's right, it's what I'm talking about. But seriously, I would have loved to have something like this on a long car ride. All right, receive Apple. Come on. I want to... Oh, no, I pressed the back of it again. What the heck is going on with that? So, of course, the apples fall down from the tree. You want to get them, and you want to... Uh-oh. Avoid Mr. Snake. It's hard to do this and see exactly where the basket is. You kind of got to imagine it. But I think your kids will love something like this. We must save the bear. Get the bear across. Or else... There will be suffering. Come on, bear. Yep. And if you miss them, they just drop right into the frickin' lava. How <laughs> Wow, that's pretty harsh. That's pretty harsh. Why don't you make it blue and say you fell into the water and you got him later? Why does it have to be red? Because you know if it's lava, he's not going to be climbing out. Elude the balls. So yeah, catch the diamond, don't catch the balls. Airdrop, a game for true Americans. You gotta catch the apples. Do not catch the bombs. Oh, and the strawberries. And oh no, it's a bomb! They actually have Fruit Ninja on here. I can't believe it. I was actually going for the bomb there. And it's not as bad as you might think. Huh. Let's beat that mouse, ladies and gentlemen. Take that. Take that. This is animal abuse. Next up, we have receiving the gift. Get the gifts. Do not get the bombs. Oh my god, folks. This next game, the panda. He literally jumps over things by farting. That's amazing. Okay, so the thing is you're supposed to choose between a jump and a fart. Oh no, if it's too big a gap, you fart. Jumps aren't as good as farting.
Can you imagine what it would have been like if we had this technology when we were little? I mean, shoot, when I was little, it was still like a luxury to be able to uh, view video in your car. Next interesting app that we have is uh, this panda. You can get him to sing. You press this button, and you record what you say, and then you press this button, and he plays it back. So, just the silly things that your children would love. So, you get timers, alarms, date, calculator. I just can't get over the fact that this is what kids can get for, jeez, I think I paid like 15 bucks for it. I can't get over it. It's amazing. It's so much technology, but it's poured cheaply, so cheaply made because... All I have to do is press the back of it, then the thing stops working, right? Anyways, let's take a look at the inside. All right, and just like that, four screws later, I'm on the inside, Paul. Um, let's see if we can turn this thing on. There we go. Now let's see if I can find out why this thing was resetting itself. Now, if I press on the battery, it definitely reboots it, but... So I haven't been able to find out exactly why just yet. Anywho, this is what we got on the inside. That's the battery right there. And then capacitor, camera. Oh, wait, where's the camera? Camera's right there. Okay, so you got your camera and you got your microphone. Come on, autofocus. Nice. Okay, so that side was the speaker. All right, now taking her off from the front. We have the panel. Come on, autofocus. There we go. Soldered right down. We're not going to be able to see what that main chip holds because of that blob that's on it. There are ways to take that blob off, but even after you do that, you still don't see what information was directly on the chip, which is a bit unfortunate. But yeah, marvel of uh, innovation on this thing, especially for the price point. I am really surprised that they managed to get this thing created at this price point and shipped. It's just amazing. You gotta hand it to the Chinese at least for uh, the manufacturing. Anyways, that's really cool. Nothing I love more than a good knockoff watch. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Net from Nev's Tech Bits. Like the subscribe, like this stuff. It's always appreciated. As always, folks, take care of each other. This watch is so good, your children will attain true nirvana of happiness.